Hello everyone, I'm Ihsan. In this video, we'll look at 10 useful features on Samsung smartphones in the latest One UI 6.1 version. Okay, now let's immediately see all the features one by one. For the first feature is the circle to search feature that can also be used to copy text from a photo or video. This circle to search feature may be introduced more widely to help find information about products or items in a photo. However, it turns out that this feature can also be very useful for copying text from images and video where the text cannot be easily copied in the usual way. So after knowing this trick, you can directly copy any text that appears on your smartphone by using circle to search feature from any application very easily and quickly. Then the second feature is the circle to search feature to find out information about objects in the photo. This is actually the main function of circle to search that you may already know. Here you just need to circle the object or product in the photo to find out more information about the product. And here interestingly, you can also use the camera application to zoom in on an object that you want to know the information about from the distance. And this can also be done without taking a photo of the object. So you can use circle to search feature when the camera preview is directed at the object you want to know more about. And the information about the product will immediately appear in the search without having to take a photo. Next, the third feature is the generative edit feature to remove objects in a photo. This feature can be directly activated on a photo in a gallery by pressing the edit button and pressing the Galaxy AI icon in the lower left. Then you just need to circle the object you want to remove from the photo. Then press and hold on the selected object and tap the erase icon. Next, you just need to click the generate button and after a few moments, the object will be automatically removed by AI. However, most of the times this feature strangely replaces the object with another new object instead of removing it, especially when dealing with large objects in the middle of the photo. It usually works well for small objects on the edge of the photo that are not the main focus. These smaller objects can be easily removed quickly with this feature. Besides removing objects, you can also change the size of an object in the photo to make it larger. Simply select the object and resize it, and then click the Generate button. And then here for each photo that we have edited with this Galaxy AI feature, it will generate a photo with a watermark in the lower left corner, indicating that the photo has been modified with the Galaxy AI feature. However, this watermark can of course be easily removed with the built-in object eraser feature on Samsung smartphones, which is non-AI features and has existed previously. To do this, simply edit the photo by pressing the pencil icon. Then click the rightmost option icon and select object eraser. Next, circle the Galaxy AI icon in the lower left corner of the photo and tap on Erase button. And here, if you notice in the latest update of One UI 6.1, you can also disable magnetic lasso feature in the upper right corner. This feature usually activates automatically and cannot be turned off. So now you can select objects more freely by turning off this magnetic lasso feature in the object eraser. Then the next feature, the fifth one, is the feature to move objects in the photo to another position. Here to do it, you just need to edit the photo and select the object you want to move. Next, you just need to press and hold on the selected object and drag the object's position to another location. Next, you just need to click the generate button in order to fill in the empty part of the photo due to the object movement. After a few moments, you can directly see the photo result with the moved object, and the empty part also filled with an image that is close to the original photo. Next, there's also an interesting feature in One UI 6.1 update, which you can use to move objects directly from one photo to another photo quickly and easily. To move an object from one photo to another, just press and hold on the object in the original photo. While holding the object, use another finger to navigate the screen to the target photo. Then once you release the finger, the object will move to the target photo. And the application will automatically enter photo edit mode. Here you can adjust the size of the object and edit the photo as desired. Then the next tip is very interesting tips that you may have never known from other videos, which is the latest long exposure feature in the latest update of One UI 6.1. 
To use this long exposure feature, you have to activate motion photo in the camera application and then take a moving photo like a waterfall photo. After activating motion photo and taking a moving photo like a waterfall photo, you can open the gallery application and swipe up on the photo. At the bottom of the photo, a new long exposure feature will appear. And then you can just tap on the long exposure option. Next, the photo will automatically be converted into an interesting long exposure photo with a smooth water flow effect like a long exposure photo with a professional camera. And interestingly, now in the latest One UI 6.1 version, you can also directly upload photos taken with this motion photo feature to Instagram. And the photos will be immediately recognized as motion photos that can be directly uploaded to stories with the boomerang effect. Previously, this feature was only available for live photos from iPhone, which could be directly detected and made into a boomerang effect when uploaded to Instagram stories. And now, it finally also supports Instagram on Samsung smartphones with photos taken with the motion photos feature. Then the next feature is the new feature to make standard videos into slow motion videos in the latest One UI 6.1. To create a slow motion video from a regular video recorded at 30fps, simply open the video in your gallery. Then you can preview the video directly with the slow motion effect on the gallery. And you also have the option to convert the video into a slow motion video directly from the gallery application. You just need to click the pencil icon to edit the video in the gallery, then choose the adjust speed option and choose 1 fourth speed for the slow motion effect. Next, you just need to adjust the duration and part of the video you want to slow down, and then press the save button to save the video into a slow motion video. And then the regular video will be converted into a slow motion video for a more dramatic effect. And then there is also a very useful feature to summarize the information from the internet by using the Galaxy i feature on the Samsung internet. To summarize the article on the internet, you can open the Samsung internet browser and browse some article, then tap on the Galaxy AI icon at the bottom and select summarize. And then the summary of the entire article will appear. Here you also have the option to choose between the standard or more detailed version of the summary. Additionally, since Galaxy AI now supports more languages, you can now easily get summaries of multiple articles using this feature from multiple different languages. You can swiftly translate summaries from foreign language articles into your language or vice versa by using this latest Galaxy AI feature. These new summary features will be very helpful to get the general idea of the article before deciding to fully read it. And then if you want to check out other interesting features on One UI 6.1, you can tap on the video that appears on your screen. Hope you find this video helpful. See you in the next one.